All right, guys, I know I left y'all hanging on part three, but here we are. Part three, like we requested. So, get your flathead and pop those pins out. You just use a flathead, they'll pull right over to the side, and then you're gonna take some pliers and pull them out. Or, sometimes you get lucky and they'll come out by hand. Put those pins to the side, they will disappear on you. Take these latches off, pull the top off, on to the next part. All right, so now we got to determine where our layout for everything's going to be. So I'm going to be using the KBT 24 volt battery. This is a four amp hour battery. And I honestly like to center the battery on any dual speaker build. And I'm not going to put it in the center of the speakers, but I'm going to put it at the base and give it some weight and it'll be center so it won't tilt over. Now, you can attach this a couple different ways, but what I find is actually really a great way to attach it, 10 pound Velcro. So let me grab some 10 pound Velcro right here and cut us a piece of this. And people always ask, how do you cut it? It always messes up my scissors and stuff. Well, I just use a razor blade. Cut through both pieces. Good to go. And you can do this two ways. You can do top and back. I mean, not top and back, bottom and back. That way it has two points of contact or you can do a single. For this build, I'm just gonna do a single because I'll probably be removing this battery to install one of the bigger batteries in a later video. Then I'll just take this piece right here. I'll flip the box up. That way I know it's nice and flat because there is a curvature to the box right there. So I'll line it up and boom. Good to go. Make sure that gets pressed down. And then we'll just come in here with the battery, put it back down. Now I have seen people take a piece of foam that comes in the box and they'll just cut a little tiny piece and put that right behind the battery. Just to keep it nice and secure. That piece is a little thick, so I'll probably slice it down the middle and it'll make it a little bit more user friendly. Split it down the middle a little bit or mess it up like I just did. This razor blade is uh, pretty dull, so. Give me a second. All right, now it's a little bit thinner. It ain't gotta be pretty because you ain't gonna see it anyway. There we go. And also you could take a piece of sound detonator and just attach it if you really wanted to, but I think that's good for now. For this video purpose, that's all we need. DC plug on this battery is your charging port. The two coming off are the output power. So the best connections are solder connections, but honestly, if you're new to this, you're gonna wanna use lever connectors for a couple reasons. The major reason is for issues. If you have any type of issue, you can troubleshoot it very easily, and you'll, you'll, uh, you'll thank me later for that if you do have an issue. So right here is a five lever connector. They make them in five, four, three, two, there's several different ones that you can buy. So we need one set for ground and we need one set for positive. And some people are like, oh, it's not positive, it's common. Guys, we're working with DC voltage. It's positive and negative. That's what we're working with. Don't get overcomplicated with this stuff. So we need to determine where everything's gonna lay out and how we're gonna wire it all up because the positive is super simple. 
positive is it's going to go straight to the green on your switch. And now hear, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Not all switches are created equally. Refer to what you're using. So this one, the common wire for this is going to be the green. The normally closed is the yellow. You know what we're going to do with that, right? Because this is a five wire switch. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to grab a little cap. And I have these specifically for this and doing radio installs and vehicles. And I'm going to crimp that down. That way nobody can accidentally short it out. Easy to go. You could put it back in there, but I've heard horror stories about it shorting out. And I don't want to take no risk at that. Now, we have two wires. Blue is your output voltage. Red is your LED voltage. So it needs 12 volts or 24 volts this one's good for. So I'm just gonna tie these two together, just like that. The ground. Now we got to add the ground. We have a ground here, but obviously it's being used. So what do I do? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take a wire, take it from here, this ground, into a block, and then I'll have a grounding block for everything. So let me find a piece of uh, wire. And of course, while I'm making a video, I can't find anything I need. Go figure. It's the way it goes, right? Here we go. Yeah, of course, this particular wire doesn't want to split. There we go. So I'm going to take strip off one end. We're going to strip a little bit more than that. Get that out the way. And I'm going to mount this going to the side just like this. So be able to come in there this side flip the lever connector up and attach the ground and some people wonder how I connect these to the sound deadener I use a zip tie hold down for these type right here I can cut the zip tie very easily and test the voltage on the two prongs if I need to And I know some somebody in the comments is probably like, you forgot the charging port. No, nope. charging port's coming, guys, I promise. Want to get my wiring settled first because this is super simple to hook up. You're going to see this and you're going to be like, that's it. That's all you got to do. And yeah, that's all you got to do. All right, so we have that. And now I have the grounding block right here. And I could glue this down, but for right now, I'm not going to glue it because you see, I put this one in here. But obviously I have more wires that have to go in there. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and change it up, put it on this side. Now I could technically glue it down if I really wanted to, but I need to connect the ground right here. And now if you have these blue and red wires connected, you can hit that power switch and it will light up. How cool is that? And with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and head over to part four. Thank you for watching.